Lesson 2-4 is addition and subtraction number stories. The objective is I can write and solve open number sentences for number stories. Um, to do this lesson, you need to know what is included in a number sentence or an open number sentence. So all open number sentences are either true or false. Um, you can sometimes have a false number sentence. You might be asked to find ones that are true or false. So they give you some examples. We know that 8 minus 2 equals 8. That's true. However, 8 divided by 2, that would be 4, is not greater than 4 times 100. Open number sentences contain variables. Um, a variable is just a letter that is put in place. Sometimes you might have a box um, inside of your equation that you need to figure out what number is represented by that box or that letter, and that's your variable. You have relationship symbols, either greater than, less than, or equal to, and you have some sort of operation, either addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Here are some examples of open number sentences. Um, you can see in the first example, Caitlin's class has 19 girls and 12 boys. How many students are there in all? The open number sentence is 19 plus 12 equals n, where n would be the number of students in all. There are some other examples here too that you can come back to. You can see in each of these there is a variable and an operation and a relationship symbol. If we take a look at Math Journal page 37, um, they give you a nice example here of what your work should look like. The example has Maria. Uh, Maria has two decks of cards. One of the decks had only 36 cards instead of 52. The rest were missing from the deck. How many cards were missing? So the first question is asking, list the numbers needed to solve the problem. Well, there's three numbers in this story problem. We have two decks of cards. 36 cards and 52. We really want to find out how many cards we're missing. So the only numbers we need are 36 and 52. It doesn't matter that there were two decks of cards. Describe what you want to find. Again, we go back to the question, how many cards were missing? We want to find out the number of missing cards. And so if we were to write an open number sentence, we could put 36 plus C plus something equals 52. Some of you may also do um, a subtraction problem. You could do 52 minus the number that you know, minus 36, equals, and since we don't know what it equals yet, that would be your variable. So your number sentences can look different depending on what operation you decide to use to solve the problem. Either way, we would end up getting our solution, C equals 16. Your solution will always have your variable and what it equals, and then your answer will have a label, so we're talking about 16 cards, and so we have our unit. Let's go ahead and take a look at number one together. Um, again, this is in your math journal on page 37. Anthony got a new bike. He rode 18 miles the first week, 27 miles the second week, and 34 miles the third week. How many miles did he ride all together? So list the numbers that we need to solve this problem. Well, I need to know how many miles he rode each week. So I need to know 18, and I need to know 27, and I need to know 34. So I have my three numbers that I need to solve this problem. Describe what you want to find. How many miles did he ride all together? So I want to find the number of miles that Anthony rode. Okay, so the number of miles that he rode is what you need to find out. All right. Then we're going to go down to our open number sentence. Remember, your open number sentence is going to use a variable. Um, we could use any variable you want to. Any lowercase letter would be fine. And so the open number sentence, since we're finding miles, we could do M. So we know that we need to add here. We need to find all together. There's kind of our keyword. 
So we could do 18 plus 27 plus 34 equals m. And m, again, I chose m just because we're looking for miles, and miles starts with m, but you can use any letter that you would like. My solution would be m equals, so my variable equals, and I would put the answer to this problem. So whatever I get when I add 18 plus 27 plus 34, my sum would go here. And my answer, again, I would repeat how many miles I came up with. And again, you want to make sure that you label. So I can do the abbreviation for miles, or I could write out the word miles. So you have some other story problems where you will go through these four steps for each one. On page 38, you have some multiple choice options. So Patrick paints color by number pictures. He spent 24 hours painting in June and 37 hours painting in July. One picture had 18 different colors. How many hours did he paint in the two months? So again, ask yourself those questions. What are we trying to figure out here? What numbers do I need to use to solve this problem? Well, I know that I need to find the hours, the total number of hours he painted in the two months. So I'm going to have to find an addition problem. And in one month, he painted 24 hours, and the next he painted 37. So this answer looks to be the best. The 37 plus 24 equals H. I'm going to go ahead and solve that problem, and then I'm going to put my answer on the line and make sure that I label it. So how many hours? We'll find the answer to that, and then we'll label it with hours. And again, if you know the abbreviation, you can put the abbreviation. Let's take a look at the next one. Sue walked two miles to Jan's house, then both girls walked two miles to Tad's house. Sue took 28 minutes to get to Jan's house. The girls took 45 minutes to get to Tad's house. How much longer did it take to get to Tad's house than Jan's? So we need to find out how much longer, how many minutes longer did it take. We have some numbers up here with miles. Those numbers aren't really important at this point. We need to focus on our 28 minutes that it took to get to Jan's house and our 45 minutes it took to get to Tad's house. Since we're trying to figure out how much longer, this is a subtraction problem. So we want to subtract 45 minus 28 equals m. That's our open number sentence. So again, you'll find your answer, and then you will label it. And since we're talking about how many minutes, your label will be minutes. Good luck as you continue solving your open number sentences.